If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. All right, sing along with me if you remember the lyrics to this classic song. Ready? <clears throat> How much is that doggy in the vending machine? What? The one with the waggly. This is actually hot. We just watched video of it. I and hate I'm, it. I hate it. Unmanned vending machines in China selling live pets, including cats and small dogs. Videos show the animals in cramped compartments, like you know, like you know, um, when you rent a locker. Yeah. And then you yep. like you hit in your code and just pops that one open. Similar to that, but with windows. And you see them just sleeping in there. And I guess somebody comes and just puts some food in there every once in a while. And... No, I hate it. That's yeah, no terrible. Kidding. It's pretty awful. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty awful. Yeah, yeah, pretty terrible. Wow. Mm. <laughs> Better than a box somewhere on the side of the road. Gosh. Gross. Yeah, that's really bad. <laughs> every day. Every day something happens where I'm like, yep, well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Apocalypse. Any moment now. Yeah. Uh, speaking of, Amazon considering charging a monthly subscription for a, an enhanced Alexa. It'll be a more conversational version. Think more her like mm -mm. that movie, her, man. It's There are people that believe that Hollywood sends stuff out there for us to see to prepare us for five years from now when it actually mm -hmm. happens. Yeah. Her, man, I'll tell you. I fell, I fell in love with her. I don't have a crush on uh, Scarlett Johansson but until her. Mm -hmm. I haven't seen her, but her voice, oh, my God, I lost it. Yeah, I uh, I hate that as well. So <laughs> we're two for two. <laughs> I um, I think it's it's so bad. I can't stand when I'm not talking to uh, Google or whatever, and it will respond to something that I'm just having a conversation. It's yeah. like, you know what? Get out of my business. I, I'm a big fan. Like, so uh, somebody, uh, you know, is like, you know, I'm not a big fan of the Google homes. I don't want them listening to everything I do. I'm like, you have a cell phone? Yeah. We both TV? Look at each other like, yeah, they're all listening. All of it. Your car. Not, your car, even if you're not subscribed to the, the monitoring thing, they're monitoring you. Yeah. And then they're narking you out to your insurance uh -huh. company. The worst. Terrible. Uh, Babe Ruth's number three jersey. This is the one that he wore during his called shot. He pointed his bat. He's like, I'm hitting it that way. And then he did, and he hit a home run. It was an amazing thing. Uh, 1932 World Series. It is the most boss move ever. That is up for auction now. Really cool. Expected to get over $30 million. It is authenticated because some of there was there in 1932. You're like, oh, hold on a second. Let me put a stick on it. <laughs> yeah, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> sure, it's definitely the real thing. A <laughs> uh, YouTuber by the name of Sir Yacht went on a Costco diet for a week and he ate nothing but the $1.50 hot dog combo for seven days straight. So that's just the hot dog and a drink, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. Hot okay. dogs. 29 of them in total, which is less than what's-his-face uh, does, uh, Joey Chestnut does during the, like, that's less than half what he does during that competition. Ooh. And he ate it over the course of a week. This just shows you how amazing the mm -hmm. July 4th thing is. Cost him four, uh, $43.50, saved a whole bunch of money, and he lost four pounds. Wow. And he also probably lost four years off his life. But, hey, you'll lost Not a money. fan. <laughs> Not a, sorry, there, okay, there's three. another one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to New Orleans where a high school senior recently won a new car for perfect attendance, never missed a day of class. So they, uh, an automotive group there, awarded him a 2024 Toyota Corolla along with paying for his license plate and a year of car insurance. That's Good a lot. God. That's a lot. That's really nice. Good for him. Uh, that's sick. And, and like, uh, honestly, what they should be doing is capturing him, throwing him in the back of a van, and then seeing why didn't you get sick for 13 Ever. years? <laughs> right. Honest <laughs> to God. Like, I, I don't know how. A uh, truck driver by the na name of Elijah Bowles. He was shocked when someone sent him not one, but two venomous snakes <laughs> separately. One in California, one in Florida. Cross-country venomous snakes. <laughs> Packaged in California contained a two-foot western rattlesnake. He believes it's a targeted attack. What makes you think that, Elijah? <laughs> Maybe it was Don't uh, you just hate when you Robin open the Leonard. parcel? Yeah, right. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no. And finally, a Brian Utah charged guests $10 to attend her wedding. She required them to bring their own chairs. Critics called her a cheapskate. She defended her action, saying it wasn't about money but logistics. It depends on what it was. Like, uh, like, because I'm thinking some people want to get married in Red Rock Canyon, mm -hmm. and if you want to do that, like, there's only you need to go to a vendor, and I don't think they have seats. So, like, if you want a chair, you need to bring your own sort yeah. of thing to sit on or whatever. Maybe it's that. I don't know. Charging guests ten dollars. What do you call the gift? I know. Because that, that that's like, a, how much do I give? She's saying 10 bucks. If you can get out for 10 bucks, cheapest wedding imaginable. No gift. Yeah, here he goes. 10 bucks. Yeah. Here, make it 20 for the two of us. <laughs>